Hi, I'm Diana, founder of Third Act Quest and our community called the 333 Collective. I'm absolutely thrilled to invite you to our first in-person retreat since the pandemic. At the end of April, we're gathering for four magical days and three starry nights in the Monadnock region of New Hampshire. For our opening up retreat, we'll have outside of the box experiences that will nudge you out of your status quo and maybe even push you a bit out of your comfort zone to open up to possibility and change and opportunity as you live forward. So let me talk a little bit about comfort zones. This morning, I had the perfect quote to share with you. It's by Karen Salmonson. She said, the best things in life are often waiting for you at the exit ramp of your comfort zone. So why is it so important for us to open up to change and possibilities and to push ourselves out of our comfort zone? The way I look at it, as we reach our 50s and beyond, we experience and have experienced a number of life-altering transitions and disruptions changing or leaving a job, starting a new business, empty nesting, caring for or losing our parents and friends, feeling disconnected in our relationships and looking for more deep connection and new types of ways of interacting in the world. It can be a stressful time, but I wanna suggest that getting the combination of taking a few days away for you to dig in and think about what you want and experience new things that are outside of your routine, outside of your comfort zone, is really just what you need to help you figure out what's next, to sort of clear the, the uh, emotional decks, like with a windshield wiper, to clean out all of the noise, to help you figure out what's next, feel good, and commit yourself to exploring the dreams and possibilities of your life that maybe you've buried during your 20s, 30s, and 40s. So many of us focused outward. We built our careers. We, we were blessed perhaps to build a family. We served only outside of ourselves. And now's the time to really come back in to our own, um, to thinking about our own lives and desires and those passions that are waiting to be out and get shared in the world. As the end zone of our lives come into sharper focus, we realize that we need to stop hugging the tree. You know, we feel really safe there. You know, there's not a lot of stress and anxiety and we sort of know what's there. But really, this is our time to venture out on the limb and take some risks and explore things coming from our heart, the things that turned us on when we were younger that perhaps we need to re-explore and reconnect with. We realize also that each day in each moment, we get to choose what we do. We get to decide where and how we do it and who we do it with. We can push beyond fear and use the anxiety we feel actually to help contemplate change and uncertainty and actually help us grow. Uh, psychologists, I just learned this, I love this. Psychologists call this optimal anxiety and a little dose can go a long way. It can open you up for the journey ahead to give you the courage and the inspiration to take some detours and to use this driving analogy a little further, put fear in the back seat. The experiences you'll have during our opening up retreat aren't risky in a dangerous way. They're really just about trying new things, things you might not have even ever heard of, um, things that are really outside of what is your daily routine, most likely. You'll learn about breath work, its many physical and emotional gifts. You'll actually take a cold dip in a New Hampshire lake and learn about the effects of cold immersion. You'll learn about and experience tapping and how the scientifically proven abilities to reframe beliefs by re, uh, sort of reprogramming those neural pathways 
You can also use tapping to calm your body and your mind. Then you'll write about the stories of your young life as a way to follow and potentially reconnect with that thread that runs through your life and start pulling it through um, to your every day. All of those passions and dreams that you've buried will also connect with each of our senses and do a number of exercises and enjoy that in a silent forest bathing experience. You'll explore the power of your personal creative expression and that potential with what I call an unleash painting experience. You'll have your portrait taken to capture the you that is truly relaxed and feeling excited about this time of life. And you'll feel a little cowgirl magic in an unmounted horse experience. Stepping Stones Farm, where we will be, um, was actually for many years a therapeutic horse facility and is still a farm today with horses and goats. So that will just cap off some magical experiences. Throughout the time, you'll have plenty of time on your own. We'll have energizing conversations around long tables for yummy meals. We'll be outside by the fire circle. Um, you'll talk about what brings you joy, what, what adds meaning to your life, You know what a sense of your why is. You'll think about visions for how you'd like to live forward. On Sunday, you'll leave with new friends and reconnection with yourself. You'll remember all that is most important to you and what makes you truly happy and inspired so you can live forward without fear and ditching those beliefs that are keeping you stuck and holding that tree. So... Ultimately, we all want to open up to embrace possibility for your, what Mary Oliver wrote and called your one wild and precious life. I hope you'll join us, set up a call with me or book your spot or cruise around on this page for more information. I hope you'll be there.